Welcome to Blender to Unreal Engine 5 Fantasy River 3D Diorama Boat Scene. I'm Luke, and over the years I've honed my skills in creating stunning 3D environments using Blender and Unreal Engine. As part of 3D Tutor, we have developed a diverse range of 3D scenes and environment miniatures, including everything from Chinese floating islands to enchanting wizards' workshops. This extensive experience has equipped me with wealth of knowledge and techniques that I'm eager to share with you in this course. My goal is to guide you through the essential steps and advanced techniques that will elevate your scene building skills to the next level. We'll start by covering the basics of Blender, familiarizing ourselves with the viewport and diving into the resource pack. This pack includes a variety of tools such as human reference, small material shaders, geometry nodes for generating various assets, alpha textures for BFX, PBR material packs for Unreal Engine and Pure Ref reference pack. Our journey begins with geometry nodes, starting with stylized rock generator. We'll set up parameters and create unique rock variations by adjusting the seed randomizer value with a click of a button. Next, we'll delve into terrain sculpting, learning how to use tools like clay strip and dynamic mesh to shape our base mesh adjusting it using the grab tool and add detail whilst removing any unnecessary vertices using bisect tool. Shader basics and UV mapping come next. To prepare a terrain mesh, we'll use vertex painting to add detail and break up surfaces of our seamless stylized textures. Following this, we'll create a bridge using geometry nodes where you'll learn about curve editing, parameter shaping, and how to add railings with the fence geometry node seamlessly integrating the bridge into our environment. We'll then construct a bay area with plank geometry nodes and repurpose assets for efficiency. Grass meadow geometry node will help visualize our scene and weight painting will aid in quick placement adjustments. Using the ivy geometry node generator, we'll draw organic ivy growth, then we'll create tree variations and add them onto our environment. Next, we'll create a stylized boat, adding detail with modeling techniques and UV unwrapping. We'll shape a lantern asset, use lattice modifier and hang it on the boat with chain geometry nodes. Reusing shader setups, we'll create an emission shader for our scene. For the stylized post, we'll use cobblestone generator geometry node, knife tool cutouts and repurpose the boat lantern for a faster workflow. We'll then transition our Blender built-in environment to Unreal Engine solving common export issues, organizing items into collections, batch exporting FPX files, and reusing Blender Smart Materials for Edgeware in Unreal Engine are key steps. In Unreal Engine, we'll fix important issues, ensuring that our model and textures look just as good as they did in Blender. In this course, we'll fully explore the process of baking in Blender, a crucial step for converting shaders into high-quality materials and masks. By baking, we'll capture all the complex detail of our shaders and translate them into textures that can be easily used in any 3D environment. This includes baking color, normal, roughness, and upper maps to create physically based rendering materials. Additionally, we'll generate edgeware masks and other texture maps to enhance the realism and detail of our models. This process ensures that intricate work done in Blender is preserved and can be seamlessly integrated into Unreal Engine maintaining visually consistency and optimizing performance. Afterwards, we'll stylize foliage and create vibrant water shader with Niagara particle effects for waterfalls. Repurposing assets and refining the scene silhouette will add interest. Finally, we'll work on lighting and post-processing using shadow blockers and color correction to achieve professional finish. This course offers 84 lessons and 16 and a half hours of content, guiding you through every step to create a breathtaking 3D diorama view. Let's embark on this creative journey together and bring your fantasy river scene to life.